Hello, everybody, and welcome back to I'm Right, You're Wrong. We've got mics on stand, and we've got arguments galore, obviously, because that's what our show is. Uh, I'm joined today on my right by Tyler Work. Hi. And on my left by Emily McDonald. What's good? See, that was more than high, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want to let you guys know the results of the tournament last week. Uh, I won versus Tyler Roulette, so... Uh, Half baked is better than peanut butter cups when it turns when it comes to uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, hmm. and uh, Keala won versus Sean. So golf is a better Wii sport than wait no 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 flip it around. Boxing is a better Wii sport than golf. Okay, we got that settled. Uh, I want to turn you guys to our newest feature of I'm Right You're Wrong. We've got a fact checker. So uh, Ryan Diaz, why don't you say hi? Hey guys. Uh, Ryan Diaz has been with us for a while, but this, now he's finally on camera, and we got the mic set up so we can have a fact checker. All right, let's get right into this, because it's going to be a short episode. We've got best Christmas movie today. So, uh, Tyler Work, why don't you go first? Okay, A Miracle on 34th Street is clearly the best Christmas movie. Not only is it a classic tale, but it's also really realistic. All you need to know if you haven't seen the movie is Santa goes to an insane asylum because no one believes he's Santa, and then he goes to court to prove that he is the real Santa Claus and is, is insane. It's a classic movie, it's a family favorite, and I know it's the best. Sounds like an upbeat piece of film. <laughs> Uh, Emily, why don't you go ahead? Yes. My pick for best Christmas mu movie is the Home Alone first movie and whole series in general. Um, Home Alone is about a the youngest boy in the family, I believe. Maybe Ryan can check me on that. And basically, he gets left at home for Christmas when his whole family they have a ton of kids and they all leave and so he gets um to stay home for christmas and he basically i'm explaining the wrong plot right now and anyway basically <laughs> so what happens is that he is home alone and he has to like take care of himself he's like 10 or 11 and it's super funny and the antagonists are funny and the protagonist is funny and it's an all-around great movie so okay so uh, guys hash it out what what about these movies is embodies christmas the spirit of Christmas, definitely Miracle on 34th Street because it's the ultimate example for parents to use to explain to their kid, like everything about Santa. Why is there a Santa in the mall? Well, it's just Santa's helper. As shown in Miracle on 34th Street, the real Santa lives in the North Pole and just kind of wanders around. They call him the <laughs> Wanderer. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> well, you see, I'm going to have to go with Home Alone because, you see... Literally growing up, watching this movie every Christmas. You know, sometimes I just watched it, like, not even around Christmas. That's the other True, thing. True, that's, that's a good point. That is, it is a very good point. Is It is based um, around Christmas, and it has, like, Christmas themes in it. But it's just such a great movie for kind of all around that, like, you can watch it. Like, I could watch it in the summer and be like, wow, this is a great movie. But it's barely a Christmas movie. Defeats the whole point. Uh, if you could see that title right there, he's wearing a Christmas sweater <laughs> and it's Christmas time. And it really embodies the kind of like that whole Christmas miracle aspect that we actually see in a lot of, uh, of Christmas movies. But it has that like comedic, that comedic sense to it. John Hughes, who is actually the writer of it, has written so many great <laughs> movies. He does a fantastic <laughs> job <laughs> with the script. It's just, you know, an all around, an all around great movie. You see, it's uplifting, but I just think it's too unrealistic for me. I'm talking about a movie that has Santa Claus, and somehow <laughs> Santa Claus <laughs> is more realistic. <laughs> I'm sorry. What family leaves their youngest son at home on Christmas? And what a youngest family son that hates their youngest son? <laughs> what youngest son doesn't they did think it to, twice. doesn't think to call their parents or call the police or even a neighbor? All right. Sorry, this is a little kid, and he's like, hell yeah. Can I say that on here? Why not? <laughs> he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't have to now. deal with my with my family, and like I can just party it up here and like have a really great time by myself, which he does. It, you know, and in the end, it just brings in so many aspects of the movie. It, he defeats the bad guy in okay. the end, and yeah. the second one, they come back. That is classic. Don't we all want to defeat Joe Pesci in our lives? Yeah. All right, uh, Tyler could not have said it any better. I want to take it over to our fact checker, Ryan Diaz, to clear up anything that we've got going on. So uh, <laughs> while I stall while the camera moves, Ryan, what do we, what do we got so far? Anything? Um, nothing so far. Um, 
Great, Ryan. He Great. is, Kevin is the youngest in the family. Yes, thank you. Um, John Hughes wrote movies like The Breakfast Club and all of the Home Alones. Okay, yes. cool. Just <laughs> thanks for clarifying. I'm very thankful that you're here, Ryan. I <laughs> know I'm in, the, I'm in the spirit. Thank you. Uh, why don't we move into closing arguments because yes. I know we wanted to make this a tight episode. So uh, we're going to have Emily have her closing first. Uh, why is Home Alone a better movie yes. than Miracle on 34th Street without the Christmas? Okay, without the Christmas. Um, I think it's a better movie. I think it's certainly more relatable. It has a younger character. You know, he's the youngest in the family. At the beginning of the movie, you can completely relate with him. Everyone's felt like that in their life, in their family, where, you know, maybe they don't feel like they're not important, and yet they still can just have, like, a great time. Like, they take something bad happening to him. He turns it around. He defeats the bad guy. He is your typical protagonist. He Hero's just, journey. He's got the hero's yes, journey. Yes, he does. He goes on this journey. He meets I the mean, goddess at the end. <laughs> basically that's what it, the the pigeons are you kidding me that's classic that is that is classic to me um it's got comedy it's got like heroism we're defeating the bad guy it's a great movie to watch year round not just for christmas <laughs> okay and it still gets you in the christmas spirit okay tyler i know your movie is very close to christmas <laughs> but is what is the watchability when if you were to watch it outside of the Christmas season. Uh, what's that movie like outside of the context? Why, why does that make it the best Christmas movie? I mean, it's just a classic movie because Home Alone may be more obviously comedic, but you st- see 30, uh, Miracle on 34th Street, Santa's put on trial because it's not believed, and it also mocks psychology because of the professor in the Macy's. I don't quite remember. Gimbal's, I believe. No. I don't know. Whatever store it is. And it also mock... Thank you, Macy's. And it mocks the political process because the judge wants to not rule he's insane because he's worried about being reelected. There's a young character who doesn't believe in Christmas and doesn't believe in Santa. We've all met someone like that growing up. And it's just heartwarming as this girl sees her mother and her neighbor fall in love. She finally has the family she always wanted. She gets her dream house, her dream life. And jolly old Kris Kringle just moves along, you know, brightening people's days. Awesome. Okay, Christmas spirit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Giving. I'm thankful for everything. And Tyler, this isn't Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, you know what? Christmas is a good time to be thankful, too. Yeah. And, uh, Agreed. Okay. Agreed. So that was a great episode, guys. Uh, remember, you guys at home need to vote on the Google Forms. Uh, uh, before we go, I know I want to thank Ryan Diaz for showing up again. Uh, maybe he's not going to show up on the camera real quick, but maybe he'll say something insightful. Hi guys, oh how's it going? I can't believe. How insightful! Yep. <laughs> okay, uh, right. Merry that is Christmas. it. That is it for this episode. Animals. So Come Merry on. Christmas you early. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks guys for coming. Yes. And you'll see one of these guys in the next episode, and then another one in the next one after that because it's around Robin this week. So uh, yeah, later guys. Bye.